a mountain I was falling asleep Not that I was counting Serious. Anyway, you said he seems nice. We've literally been talking for the past three weeks. I have no doubt it'll be great. It has been a while. He's really driven too, like bordering husband material. There we go, that's what we like. No, he moved to London in a month though, and I need to pass this course. But you have a place already. It's conditional. And I don't think I can have a distraction like that. Yeah, well, Okay, okay. I'm going to be fine. Oh my god! Just outside, have you headed in? Uh, yeah, I'm just in the bar. Perfect. Coming in now. Wow. Hey, you look incredible. Thank you. <laughs> um, not so bad yourself. Should we get a table? This one? Yeah. You remember? Of course. I, I mean, it was the response to my prompt, so... Very observant. To heartache or heartbreak? Well, that's a bit morbid, isn't it? Well, you're the one moving to London. Too early to ask you to come too? Very. <laughs> but you may be in luck. Why is that? I'm going to be studying art in London come September. You got in? I did. I mean, it's a conditional offer, but yeah, I got it. So you're stalking me? You wish. <laughs> well, cheers. To whatever comes next. To whatever comes next. Hey, how's it going? Oh my god, is he creepy? No. He's actually... Oh, don't worry, I'm ready. Ow! Alice, my I'm leg's loose. broken, ow! <laughs> yes, okay, okay. No, he's... He's really nice. Well, have you spoken about the whole London thing? Yeah. Then what have you got to lose? Get back out there. Well, I actually... Switch from studying law to studying photography. Wow, I mean, I'd say that's like a big change, right? I mean, they're polar opposites. I'd say they have a multitude of things in common, but we should not dwell on it. Ooh, dwell. I'm just speaking the king's English. <laughs> okay, well then. Will his righteousness walk me home? He shall. Your hand, my lady. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Romeo. Your carriage awaits. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no way. <laughs>
That's quite something, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, if, if you're in big old London, then you won't have all this at your doorstep anymore. It's been a dream of mine since I was a kid, really. Besides, I can always come back. Parents are here too, so it makes it easy. Thought about this, haven't we? I'd like to say I spent a good bit of time thinking about it. But hey, why are you going if you want to stay? That's a good question. I too have given it some thought. I give myself five years in London. And then I move to the Cotswolds. I get a dog, have a nice little limestone house, you know, like a fire in every room, a gallery down the road. Well, if you've got a tree line drive, then our dreams line up. But, all important question, what dog? Well, it's got to be a big dog. Like, um, German Shepherd, like that kind of thing. St. Bernard's? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Was all of this thought of too? No. Oh, really? Well, maybe just dreamt of. Still checking that you're real first. I don't want to wake up and find that you've been a figment of my imagination. <laughs> okay, okay. Not a dream. Okay, well, thank you for confirming. It was for the both of us. Come on. This is me. <laughs> nice place. Thank you. It's very English. Can tell. Red brick. Stylish. <laughs> Tonight's been really nice. It has. Thank you. Right, um... Right, um... I'll see you later this week. I'd love that. Perfect. Perfect. Tom? Yeah? Do you want to come in? It's just, I know, <laughs> very forward. My parents are away for most of the summer. And I'd rather you be here and that we don't say goodbye now. I'd like that. Morning. Morning. <clears throat> <laughs> Any plans today? Uh, no. Surprisingly for a Saturday. Nothing as of yet. You? Oh, I've got a marathon, hike up Everest, and a visit to the Tate. Oh, that's a shame. I was going to suggest brunch, but if you're busy, then... Well, I guess I can move a few things around. <laughs> it's a date. Is this the second one, or is it rolling over? So, the second one's probably passed, because of last night. Um... So, third date? Yeah, third date works for me. I need a shower. Do you want to join me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Have you ever seen a shooting star before? Once. We were on top of this old estate looking up at the sky and we saw these gorgeous streaks shooting across the sky. We must have seen about 10 or something. It was also during a meteor shower, but it was something. I've never seen one before. At least I don't think I have. All you really have to do is look up. I'm doing that now. It is also still light out. Well, what's that then? That's moving weird for a star. Is it a plane? It's not flashing and it's Oh not... my god, is it aliens? Would be cool if it was. <laughs> I'd say it's a weather balloon. A weather balloon? It's slightly anticlimactic, but still pretty cool to look at. Sure. This summer's been quick. Yeah. We still got one more night together. Wait, have you even packed yet? No, no, that sounds like tomorrow's problem. Well, how much have you got to sort out? Well, luckily it's clothes and bed sheets. The flat's furnished, so I haven't got to worry about what chandelier I want to buy or what oak table I want just yet. Anyway, don't need a salad bowl, do you? Have you made me one? No, no, <laughs> but. If my nan gets me one for Christmas, I'll send it to you. Or you could bring it down with you. Maybe. Maybe. I, I got you something. It's nothing major, but it's something. I didn't get you anything. Open it. Shakespeare, Tom. It is a part of literature, though, so it counts. Thank you. I love it. So. So. London. London. Maybe I can scout out a nice, quiet coffee shop for you, or a place for you to lie down and look at weather balloons. Yeah, I'd like that. Is this a good why situation, or? Well, well, maybe, uh, see you soon. I'll see you soon.